Hi, this is Volante by Design with the Life Lesson segment. Today I'm going to tell you what I've learned in my lifetime about trust. Trust can be very elusive and scary. And sometimes we don't know who to trust. We don't know when is the right time to trust. And we tend to just hold back out of fear and be afraid to get hurt, be afraid to lose. But nothing in life is worth having without a risk. The more you invest, the higher the risk, the better rate of return that you get. And you have to think about it in those terms when you want to trust. I think that trust starts within, with confidence. You have to believe in your own self, in your own ability to be a judge of character and the decisions that you make. Believe in your own talent and that will help you be able to trust others and be able to accept the fact that someone is really there for you and that someone is really interested in you and wants to help you. So that comes from within. You've got to know that you're trustworthy before you can trust other people. I think that's the first step. And then we talk about fear. Fear is stifling. And we've got to get past that fear and just step out there and think about it. I like to think in terms of worst case scenario. Okay, what is the worst thing that can happen to me? And then I figure out how I'm going to get over that. So I already said, okay, this is the worst that can happen. If this has happened, if this happens, that's what I'm going to do. So now let me go ahead and trust. By nature, we are creatures that were designed for companionship. No man is an island. You can always do more with someone else. If you have a dream that you can bring into fruition alone, you are not dreaming. You are just looking at what's there and what you see. But when you close your eyes and you dream or when you truly have a vision, there has to be other people included in that dream or in that vision or you will not come true. You've got to open up. You've got to let someone in. When you keep a door closed, nothing can get out. You won't lose anything, but nothing can get in. The world is a huge, wonderful place. And also with trust, we have to be able to move forward and get over past hurt and over past rejection. Never let what has happened to you cause you to judge others or other opportunities by that standard. Well, I messed up last week, so it's going to be messed up again. Well, if that's your mindset, that's always going to happen to you. Take mistakes or hurt or pain as a life lesson and move forward. You know, and sometimes when I look back over my life, I have to say that the good outweighs the bad. Sometimes one person can reject, reject us. One person can hurt us. And now we're afraid to trust anyone. And it's only one person. And we focus on that one person when there's dozens of other people that already know us and love us. And there's billions of people out there waiting to meet us that may love us. But we get stuck and we become afraid to trust. We become afraid to let go. And we become afraid to open up. And we become held hostage in our own lives by ourselves. We don't want to do that. And then you have that feeling of isolation, which is also stifling as well. So in order to trust, you have to know what you want as well. Uh, set criteria for the kind of people you want around you. Look for people with those characteristics. If they don't have those characteristics, don't include them in your circle. If they do, do include them in your circle. One thing my mom taught me a long time ago is that, very simply, you don't have to respond to everything. If you don't want to talk, don't return a call. If you don't want to text, don't return the, the text. If you don't want to connect online, don't accept the friend request. I mean, you have the freedom and the power to control your circle. And keeping a good, tight, close circle is key to trust. When you surround yourself with quality like-minded people, then it's easier to trust them. And sometimes people can't be included in your circle. It's not that they're a bad person. It's not that they're not a quality person, but they're not like-minded. If I am creative and I'm, I'm not afraid to step out there and do things, those are the kinds of people that I need in my circle. I don't need people in my circle who are rigid and who are extremely practical to the extent that every time I come up with an idea, they can't see my vision. Those people cannot be on my brainstorming team because 
because we don't think alike. So we need to learn to be open-minded and have filters. You let in people that bring light. When a camera is set, you filter the light and you filter those settings. Filter your life where you only let light in and you filter out the darkness, the negative thoughts, the discouragement, the hindrances. You have to look past those things and that all is how you build up your trust. A lot of times how we see people is a reflection of ourselves. Sometimes we transfer our own negative thoughts about ourselves onto other people. And when we do that, when you walk into a room with low self-esteem and you have negative thoughts about yourself, those thoughts transfer and what you project is what they see. If you project confidence and if you project greatness, that's what you attract. That's what people will see and that's how people will treat you. And you'll be surprised sometimes we, we go through life and I hear people complain this person hurt me, this person misused me, and this keeps happening to me over and over and over again. And I always say, every bad business deal, every bad relationship, every broken heart that you've experienced, what is the common factor in each experience? It's you. Not to blame you, you don't want to blame yourself, but if you keep finding yourself attracting the same people in a different body, then there's something about you that is attracting those kinds of people. You know, um, my mother uses the analogy all the time about garbage and what garbage attracts. If you're attracting that, then you need to take the garbage out in your life. Then you will be able to trust because you will trust yourself and you will love yourself and you'll be able to attract people. And there's a law of averages. Yes, we are all are going to attract a few negative experiences here and there, but get over them. Move on. Because again, in the scheme of things, the good outweighs the bad. And the good will always outweigh the bad because you control it. If you remain positive, it is 100%. It's, it's a, a perfect equation. If you remain positive, your positive days will outweigh your negative days. If you are negative, your negative days will outweigh your negative days. I always say, positive people always have a reason to smile because they create them. Negative people always have a reason to frown because they create them. You create the life. God created us all as his own original designer originals. We're all one of a kind. And then he gave us dominion. I know I say it all the time, but it's true. God gave us dominion over the world. Use your power. Create the life that you want. Learn how to trust. Learn how to love. And make your life as great as you possibly can. And leave nothing to chance, but live life by design.